so good morning dear children in today's video i will be explaining to you the rest of the chapter please listen to it carefully and before um, after this please go through the chapter also if you don't uh, if you're unable to understand anything please feel free to ask paragraph 12 the months rolled on and Bruno had grown many times the size he was when he became. He had equaled the incisions in height and had even outgrown them, but was just as sweet, just as mischievous, just as playful. And he was very fond of us all. Above all, he loved my wife and she loved him too. She had changed his name from Bruno to Baba, a Hindustani word signifying small boy. So as the days passed, Bruno grew bigger and he, is, he has outgrown the, the two Alsatian dogs. That means it has become big in size. Still, but still it was sweet, naughty and playful like before. He was fond of everyone in the house and especially he was very attached to narrator's wife and the feeling was mutual. Even narrator's was, wife was very, very attached to Bruno. Since the Bruno has uh, become a big boy, she changed her name from Bruno to Baba. And he could do a few tricks too. At the command Baba wrestle or Baba box, he vigorously tackled every anyone who came forward for a rough and tumble. Give him a stick and say Baba, hold gun and he pointed the stick at you. Ask him Baba. Where's baby? And he immediately produced and cradled affectionately a stump of wood which he had carefully concealed in his straw bed. Concealed means hide. But because of the tenant's children, poor Bruno Ababa had to be kept chained most of the time. So Baba, as he has grown, he has learned some tricks also. When he was ordered the commanded Baba wrestle, a Baba box, he would wrestle the person and overpower him. When commanded Baba hold gun, he would point a stick at the person as if as if he is ready to shoot. When asked Baba where is the baby, he would take out a piece of wood and cradle it affectionately like a baby as human beings do. He also used to take out uh, like a human being hold the baby. In the same way, he used to take out a stick and start cradling that stick like a baby. He had hidden the piece of wood under the straw bed. As he had grown big, he was chained because he could be threat to the tenants' children and the tenants' children were quite uh, afraid of Baba as he has grown in size. So all the time he has to be put in. Then my son and I advised my wife and friends advised her too to give Baba to the zoo at Mysore. He was getting too big to keep at home. After some weeks of such advice, she last consented. So the narrator and his son both advised his wife to send Baba to a zoo because he has grown and he has grown in size. When his wife was advised so by the friends too, she agreed and and then finally after the friends told the son told at last the narrator's wife agreed to send Baba to zoo hastily hastily means in a hurry and before she could change her mind a letter was written to the curator curator means the manager of the zoo did he want a tame beer for his collection he replied yes the zoo sent a cage from Mysore in a lorry a distance of 87 miles and Baba was packed off that means distance from Bangalore to Mysore is 87 kilometers so as soon as his wife agreed to send Baba to the zoo, immediately a letter was written to the curator of the zoo and he was asked if he is ready to keep a tame bear in his collection, that means in his zoo. So he uh, immediately he gave the answer that he is ready to keep and then the zoo, the manager of the zoo, they sent a cage from the Mysore in which Baba could be taken to the Zoo. So it, the distance was 87 miles and now Baba was finally packed for the zoo. 
we all missed him greatly but in a sense we were relieved my wife was inconsolable she wept and fretted for the last for the for the first few days she would not eat anything then she wrote a number of letters to the curator how was baba back came the replies well but fretting he refuses food too so although everyone missed baba but they were relaxed everyone was relaxed also the narrator's wife was disturbed she wept and worried about baba's well being see what it means worried initially she did not eat or drink startingly when she left baba uh, in the zoo she was not having anything she did not like anything to eat because she was missing baba very badly so she wrote a letter to the zoo in charge to inquire about baba that how he is doing whether he has adapted to the new environment or not he replied that baba was also undergoing a similar situation like her that means he said he was also worried he does not look relaxed he is not adapted to the new environment and he also refused to eat the food after that friends visiting mysore were begged to make a point of going to the zoo and seeing how baba was getting along they reported that he was well but looked very thin and sad so she would ask her friends visiting whosoever visiting mysore uh, she would ask the friends to visit baba and check out on him everyone gave a similar report that baba was fine but appeared thin and all the keepers at the zoo said he was fretting for 3 months i managed to restrain my wife from visiting mysore then she said one day i must see baba either you take me by car or i will go myself by bus or train so i took her by car the staff at the zoo said that he seemed worried when she inquired to the keepers of the zoo they also gave the same reply that he always looked worried so for 3 months anyhow the narrator managed to stop his wife from visiting mysore then after 3 months one day she said that she has to see baba she want to see baba and if he would not take her then she would go by herself either by train or by bus so finally the narrator has to agreed and he agreed to take her by friends had conjectured that the bear would not recognize her i had thought so too but while she was yet some yards from his cage baba saw her and recognized her he howled with happiness she ran up to him petted him through the bars and he stood on his head in delight so the friends they had predicted the meaning of conjectured means the predicted or formed an opinion or they guessed that the bear baba would not be able to recognize her and the narrator had also at the back of her mind she also had the same thought but to her amazement sorry but to his amazement she was a few steps away from the cage when baba saw her and recognized her it was a really very very surprising behavior from baba he screamed with happiness she ran up to him petted him and baba was very happy to have her back and in in, in his delight he was he standing on his head for the next 3 hours she would not leave that cage she gave him tea lemonade cakes ice cream and what not then closing time came and we had to leave my wife cried bitterly baba cried bitterly even the hardened curator and the keepers felt depressed as for me i had reconciled myself to what i knew was going to happen next so for the next 3 hour as she was sitting near him she gave him whatever baba loves that tea the lemonade cakes everything which baba used to love it then finally the closing time came and 
director's wife she started crying bitterly even baba started crying bitterly the managers of the zoo the members who used to look after the um, animals all were feeling very sad seeing the scene seeing this plight they all were very very sad as for me and the narrator was now very much sure that what is going to happen oh please sir she asked the curator may i have my baba back hesitatingly he answered madam he belongs to the zoo and is government property now i cannot give away government property but if my boss the superintendent at bangalore agrees certainly you may have him back so she was just pleading to give his baba back to the manager of the zoo but he said that he just gave he just told her that uh, since now baba is government's responsibility because all the zoos of the country is government prop uh, is government uh, comes under the government it's a government property so since the zoo was under the government property he said i cannot give you for this you have to take the permission of the superintendent of bangalore and if he is ready and he gives the permission they will give baba a certificate back they have followed the return journey to bangalore and a visit to superintendent's bungalow a tear for pleading baba and i are both fretting for each other will you please give him back to me he was a kind hearted man and consented not only that but he wrote to the curator telling him to lend us a cage for transporting the bear to bangalore so while returning back from mysore narrator's wife made a point to visit to the superintendent she went to the superintendent's bungalow and there she literally she was pleading and crying to give her baba back she told him that baba and both are worried and they both long for each other so she just requested him to give his baba back and since superintendent was very kind hearted man he agreed he gave the consent to take baba back and not only that he wrote a letter to the curator and asked him to arrange for a cage so that baba could be sent back to bangalore back we went to mysore again armed with the superintendent's letter baba was driven into a small cage and hoisted on top of the car the cage was tied securely and a slow and a careful return journey to bangalore was accomplished so again from bangalore they went to mysore with their superintendent's letter and then baba was put in a cage and very carefully the cage was tied on the car and then they covered their journey uh, journey from mysore to bangalore very carefully and very slowly one som a squad of coolies squad means group of coolies many coolies were engaged for special work in our compound an island was made for baba it was 20 feet long and 15 feet wide and was surrounded by a dry pit or moat 6 feet wide and 7 feet deep so as baba could not be kept inside the home so the squad of coolies people they were engaged in the narrator's compound to make an island for baba and the uh, the measurement of it was it was 20 feet long and 15 feet wide and was surrounded by a dry pit if you have ever been to a zoo you must have seen that um the you see it from the net right and from the net you can see an island type uh, a circular kind of island is ma- made and then a pit is made so that the animal cannot come out and it could not attack the people right so in the same way a dry pit was made and that pit was 6 feet wide and 7 feet deep a wooden box that once housed fowls was brought and put on the island for baba to sleep at night so a big bow uh, box that was once housed fowls means in which the bird or chickens were kept that particular big box was brought and it was kept on the island so that baba could sleep in it a straw was placed inside to keep him warm and his baby baby means one uh, stick bamboo stick or a, the gnarled stump along with his gun then a stump was given to him uh, with which he used to make it a gun 
the piece of bamboo both of which had been sentimentally preserved since he had been sent away to the zoo were put back for him to play with so all the items with which baba used to play it, all those things were kept on the island so that baba could continue playing with that in a few days the coolies hoisted the cage onto the island now once the island got uh, ready so again the coolies they uh, hoisted means uh, with the help of the uh, pulleys and rope they just kept that cage on the island and baba was released that means that cage was kept on the island and baba was released on that island till then he was in the cage he was delighted very happy standing on his hind leg he pointed his gun and cradled his baby so he started playing he was missing those things at the zoo my wife spent hours sitting on a chair there while he sat on her lap he was 15 months old and pretty heavy to now he was 15 months old and it has become a uh, heavy because it's a wild animal and it's a bear so it has become heavy the way my wife reaches the island and leaves it is an interesting because it was there was a pit so she cannot climb and go uh, she just cannot go like that so uh, the very interesting way she used to go and it was i have tied a rope to the overhanging branch of a mango tree with a loop at its end if any of you have done the zip line you must be knowing how it moves even in the mountain areas uh, the people where there there is very uh, where they cannot go by walking the roads are very difficult they do that they just tie the rope and they keep a wooden uh, kind of thing and on that they sit and then they just move it so in the same way there was a uh, he just tied a rope in a mango tree and then he made a loop at the end of it then his wife putting one foot in the loop she kicks off with the other to bridge the 6 foot gap that constitute the width of the surrounding pit so to cross that pit she has to do that she used to keep her one foot on that loop and with the other um, leg she used to kick and then it starts moving and then she cover this area and reach the island the return journey is made the same way but who can say now that a sloth bear has no sense of affection so after reading this uh, story this is a real one can anyone say that the animals they don't have emotion the wild animals they don't have emotion see pet animals do they do have a, 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 you can see dog they are very very emotional they are very faithful animal but after reading this story who can say that the wild animals they don't show emotion they don't have the feeling they don't love they don't feel pain no none of us can say that right no memory and no individual characteristics so see people say that the wild animals or the animals they don't remember their masters or they don't remember anything they have no emotions but see after reading this story we can see that it has affection and how much affection he had with narrator's wife even with the family members no memory no it has a memory that's why he was able to recognize narrator's wife after 3 months then a no individual characters it had a individual characteristic so with this we come to the end of the chapter this app chapter teaches us what does it teach us it teaches us that animals to have emotions they sh- they too are living being and they should be treated like that only they should not be created ke animal in ko maro in ko kuch bhi karo many a times we see children just for fun they beat the dogs and many things see when you just burn the crackers see the condition of them but we hardly realize those things because our fun is important right so from the next time please keep in mind and treat them as living being now please read the chapter go through it and if any doubt feel free to ask till then have a great day bye bye